Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to just update you a little bit on my crochet stuff. Uh, mostly because I haven't really been on in a few days. Because <laughs> life is busy. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here. And I don't really have a lot of progress to show you. Except on the corner to the corner. I have made some leeway on it. <laughs> I was I want to like go ham and finish it. But it's hard to do when I have a one-year-old who wants my attention all the time. So, I'm going to dig it out here. Yeah. <laughs> here's the cake it's getting floppy and my hoop. so let me find the stitch marker yeah i got a little hunk of it done since last time i shared it with you guys there's the progress keeper in that dark teal so i, I did that much i don't have much to go let's see here there's one flat end and there's the other flat end <laughs> it's getting there and then there's the rest of it mostly <laughs> i like the way it's coming out it's really pretty uh i think i am going to do a border on it though i was looking up i i just googled it corner to corner crochet corner to corner border and a bunch popped up so depending on the yarn that i have left i should have practically a whole cake left though because i still i'm going to use this one to decrease and then I'm going to, I'll have a, I have a whole new other skein of <laughs> cake um, to do the border. So I think I'm going to try to do a border that uses up as much yarn as possible. Because I'm trying, that's what I was trying to do is de-stash these three uh, mandala cakes. But I like the way it's turning out. And so far both balls of yarn that I got were in the same flow session. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, actually they almost lined up perfectly uh, with the colors that I changed. I'm trying to remember where I changed my first yarn ball. It was somewhere in this blue. I already wove in my ends, so I don't remember where. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's chugging along. I'm, I'm using a G-hook to make this, and it's just a 4 millimeter G-hook. It's my cute uh, little Christmas sheep. <laughs> my sister got this for me for Christmas. Oh, gosh. Three, two, three, four, some, one year. <laughs> we draw names on my side of the family. Uh, and we've gotten each other a few times. I love it when me and her get each other because we're real similar. So we're good at picking out gifts for each other. But she got me this hook. And it's so cute. He's holding a little peppermint. I don't know where she got it from. I don't remember. But anyways, I'm using uh, Mandala Baby. My heat just kicked on. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, the color is Pixie Hollow. It is a size 3. And I usually don't like working with smaller yarns. But this one's been alright. Mandalas are alright to work with. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting this done though. It's gonna be so pretty and I found a few borders like I said that I want I'm gonna see which one I like the most at the time I was, I was hoping something maybe uh scallopy or something like that because I just thought it'd be pretty with these colors I don't know I don't know that's what I was going for <laughs> but so that's one project that you can actually see that I've worked on I have two other projects that I've been working on but they're both projects I can't show you because <laughs> one of them is my sweater for the um, sweater make along that I'm participating in with some girls. It's Shannon, Olivia, Carrie, and Connie, <laughs> and then me. Uh, I'll link all their channels down below if you want to check them out. Um, but we'll be updating. I'll be able to show you that on March 11th is when I can show you my sweater. And then my other project that you can't see, I'm going to give you a little peek. But I don't know if y'all remember. I showed it a while ago. Um, I'm participating in the seasonal yarny youtube hop hosted by kim the crafty nomad um and a while ago i showed you the yarn that i had picked out for my project so it's a theme a spring themed project and i'll be showing it to you on march 20th is when that video is coming out and i'm using karen cotton ripple cakes in this yellow color called sunflare and this is a number three as well and this how many yards is on this thing 100% cotton, 491 yards. I got, I think, three of these cakes, and I should have more than enough to make the project I'm making. I'm going to show you a little bit of the project, but I can't show you a lot, all of it. So, get it right here. Oh, there's a, like a sneak peek. It's really blown out because of my light. <laughs> it is that pretty yellow. But, and I'm using a J hook for it. I've been slowly working on it. I just started it two days ago because I got like a late start on it. <laughs> but I still have um, a month-ish to work on it. So um, I'll be sharing that with you on the 20th. So those are coming up. Those are the projects I've been working on mostly though is the 
corner to corner and those two projects that I can't show you yet. Uh, I haven't touched at all the mini dress <laughs> for uh, June's doll. I need to finish that up. It's, it's, it wouldn't take long if I just sat down and do it. I think the reason I'm procrastinating that is because I need to use black yarn. <laughs> and um, I don't want to. <laughs> I usually, my crocheting is usually um, when June is napping or when she's asleep. So it's usually dark when I crochet. But I'll just have to get that done. Because <laughs> I really want to make the scrubs. And then I can get some more patterns and start making them. But I really like this one pattern I'm making with this yellow yarn. So far. I've never made this type of pattern before. So it's a little new and kind of weird. I'm, I'm a little worried about how it's going to come out <laughs> the right way. But I keep like laying it out and looking at it. And I think it's going to. I think it's coming out the way it's supposed to. Because if, if I have it laid out right on my table right now, it's going to come out looking the way it's supposed to. But I don't know if I have it laid out right. Because <laughs> like I said, I've never made anything this way before. But um, the pattern's really easy. It's basically a bunch of V-stitches. Um, but they're not called that in the pattern. It's called another name. And I, I don't like it when pattern people do that. When they use a stitch that's already stitched, but they call it something else. It's just, it's weird. But, uh, oh boy, let me put that back in there. That's my hook for my corner to corner. Stick it down there. Alright, so that's basically all I had to share with you guys. <laughs> I just want to show you the progress mostly on the corner to corner. And the sneak peek for this yellow thing. I got folded up now. And I'm excited about that. I hope it comes out the way it's supposed to. We'll see. But hopefully soon, I will, well, what is today? Today is the 19th, maybe? I think so <laughs> but uh so let's see there's about a month until i get to show you that yellow thing i should have it done by then <laughs> and then in just a couple weeks i'll be able to show you the sweater um progress i've taken a time to stop working on it because i don't want to get it all done before the first video comes out uh which the way i was going i was going to do that because the not the 11th when we put out the video but i started it that day and then the next day the 12th i had already finished the first panel the first, the whole front of the sweater is done. Um, so then I was like, I'm going to have to slow down or I'm going to get the whole thing done before the first video comes out. Um, but if I do finish that sweater earlier, because the make alone is going on all the way through November, uh, I'll just maybe start another sweater. And then maybe I'll make two or three sweaters during it. <laughs> but um, I got the first part, the first, not half, but, you know, because this, that sweater is a front panel, a back panel, and then you attach them together and then you make the sleeves and then you go back and do like you know the collar and the brim is that what that's called at the bottom <laughs> um so I, i'm not quite halfway done but i'm, I'm kind of close to it you know <laughs> like a third maybe but uh i really liked working on it and when i really like working on something i just kind of get sucked into it and uh go crazy but anyways that's all i have to share with you right now <laughs> i do have some more happy mail i gotta share when it when i can pick it up at the post office and then there will be bags coming up soon. I was hoping to get it out, get them out by um, this coming weekend, like the 23rd, 24th, 25th ish. But we got a lot of stuff going on this week. Um, so it might be a little bit later than that. It might be, um, I don't know what, let's see, the 22nd is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 23rd, Friday. I don't know. It might be. The very end of february or the very beginning of march <laughs> um it's just because i haven't had time to work on them i haven't even started them they're all cut and stuff i just haven't started sewing but i'm also like i said we're, we got a lot of stuff going on this week so i don't know and one day this weekend we have to go this coming weekend we have to go get tires for the truck and get the put on and all that that's gonna take a while but i don't know we'll figure it out i'll announce before they come out <laughs> and uh yeah i guess that's it let me know what you guys are working on I know it's not Wednesday, but I still like to know. <laughs> and uh, I'll link everybody I mentioned down below if you want to check them out. And I'll link the pattern. Wait, I didn't even show any patterns that I can link. Because <laughs> corner to corner is just corner to corner. I didn't follow a pattern. It's just uh, the stitch, you know, over and over again. So I guess I'll, I'll just link people down below. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Because i got to go sew. Bye, guys.